Today's Honda company is very famous and you can find Honda vehicle everywhere in the world. But did you know that if it wasn't for Second World War, Honda might not have even existed. Sucharu Honda, the owner of Honda, was born in Japan in the year of 906. In his childhood, he used to work with his father as a bicycle repairman and automobile technician. After few years, he quit and he started his own company where he was building car piston and was selling it to Toyota company. In 1941, Japan got into World War II and government took over Sucharu Honda's piston company and they made him senior managing director in his own company. In 1944, during the war, one missile directly hit his company and completely destroyed it. In 1945, America attacked Japan by means of nuclear weapons. Japan was facing destruction and transportation problem. During this time, Sucharu Honda found some old military engines. He started solving civilians' transportation problem by putting those engines in bicycles. Then he started making new engines and launched his motorcycle in the name of Honda Super Cub. In the age of 62, Sucharu Honda started manufacturing cars. At the beginning, his cars were not very successful. Then finally, in 1971, he made the Honda Civic, which became the highest sold car for that year and still continues to launch new models to this day. 